everyone welcome to my channel this is Anna I would like to introduce to you uh, my Filipino dish today that's gonna be a minudo which is a uh, stew and these are the ingredients that we have today I have a cup of potatoes I have a cup of peas and carrots I have tomato sauce garlic pepper salt if you need it and i have a little twist for a filipino touch and i have the patis which is the fish sauce and i would like to use a little bit of them combined with salt and um uh, and and i'm going to use a uh, ground beef and i just pick angus beef right here and you can use any meat that you like if you like a uh, ground pork or ground chicken or turkey that would be fine so i prefer to just use a uh, angus beef today and at the same time the other ingredients is i have a cup of onion a cup of mushrooms and I have a cup and a half of bell pepper, which I use red. You can use green or yellow. It depends on your um, color that you like. And it's very much, actually, this is very simple. And this is very, very Filipino taste. And I would like to start cooking with you guys. There you go guys, we will be starting on a uh, one tablespoon of olive oil. Alright. Go. And I'm going to put a uh, one tablespoon of garlic. And I'm gonna put the onion right there. Okay. Just to pay them for like a minute or two. And then once you see it starts to become translucent, then that means that that's ready for the next ingredient okay the next ingredient that we are, are going to put in is the mushrooms there you go and we can just saute the mushrooms for a minute or two and if you notice guys I slice the mushrooms into a small cubes so it will be a uniform shape with the peas and carrots and so is the brown hamburger that we're going to make. Oh this is most beautiful. There you go, we'll just saute them for a minute or two. Okay guys, I think the mushrooms is ready. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this hamburger right there. Now I'm going to use the spoon. Hamburger right there. And do you know why I put the hamburger first before the rest of the vegetables? Because I don't want the vegetables to get overcooked so I will just brown this hamburger there you go guys I'm going to brown the hamburger with the mushrooms 
to give it more power. There we go. Oh, this is just amazing. That smells pretty good right there. And minodo is really a very simple dish. And I remember when we were when we were young, every occasion is you always have a minodo dish in the Philippines. And this is one of my favorite dishes. And it's very simple, you know. And if you can see right here, if you notice earlier, I just put a uh, tablespoon of olive oil because I don't want to be, want them to be too greasy because the oil from the fat from the hamburger. So just enough to saute the onion and garlic. And then we will just brown this hamburger. Just like that for a minute or two to three minutes. There you go guys. If you can see the hamburger or the ground beef is already brown. So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to put a drop of fish sauce or patties just a little bit don't put too much there you go just to have a little bit of flavor and i'm gonna put a little bit of pepper just like that oh if you can see guys this is just smells and looks delicious there you go we'll just mix it up just like that and if you notice the grease from the hamburger is starting to come out and this is what we're looking for there you go we just mix it up oh this is just amazing my husband is now excited for this recipe And the next ingredients that we're going to put in now is our tomato sauce, just like that. Oh, this is just beautiful. I like the combination of tomato sauce right there. There you go, just mix it up. Just like that. And one of my secrets that I always use when, I, when it comes to a uh, dish like this is a teaspoon of sugar. Just like that. Just to balance out the flavor, okay? There you go. And we will just simmer them for five to seven minutes. Just mix it up. Yeah. There you go guys. So the next ingredient that we're going to put in is the peas and carrots. Just like that. The potatoes. There you go. We'll just put it in, mix it up, and the last one is our pepper. Look at the blending of colors, guys. This is just amazing. Look at that. There you go. And we'll just mix it up. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Just mix it up well. Okay. 
oh this is just beautiful and you know guys if you wanted to have a little bit of gravy what you have to do is just add a cup or it depends on the sauce that you like you can add a cup of water okay and if you just want just like this you can do that as well and you know guys this is also good for your children your kids i'm pretty sure you know they'll love this because you can hardly see the vegetables like you know you're just like eating a uh, big chunk of vegetables but this one is just mix very well just like that and the color combination you have a green you have a white from the potatoes orange from carrots and you know red from pepper this is just a perfect harmony of colors and flavors okay and then what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna put a little bit more pepper it depends on your taste you can put less you know if you doesn't want them to be too spicy especially if you're going to serve this for your kids and we'll just simmer them for like two to three minutes and that should be it There you go guys here's our filipino minodo that we have and if you can see also i have a crackers right here you can partner them with the crackers white rice or you know garlic bread and um, i hope that you enjoy watching my channel guys and um, i hope that you will subscribe my channel and once again thank you for watching this is anna thank you very much guys see you next time bye